Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris Altamirano here from ViaMaverick.com, internet marketing strategies that work. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to send a newsletter blast to your email list using GetResponse. Alright guys, so first things first is uh, just want to navigate to the top right here or actually just log into your GetResponse account, click on Dashboard and then you'll get taken to a screen like this. Select your campaign. I've already created a campaign right here. If you haven't created one yet, just go ahead and click create campaign and that'll guide you through that. The next step is to actually just go to messages and then click create newsletter. And then that's just going to take you to a page just like this. Okay. So now you have a choice to either create, you know, new email creator right here, or you can use like HTML and stuff. I don't know what type of newsletter you're looking to send, but this tutorial specifically is going to teach you how to use this one right here. And we're going to use this new email creator. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just click new email creator. And now this message name right here, this right here, this is for your eyes right here. So this is for you. So only you you are going to be able to see what the message name is. Now the subject line right here, this is going to be what the actual receiver of your email is going to be, right? One of your subscribers. So um, make this very catchy. Um, just to give you a really cool resource, go ahead and go to pop URL urls.com. Uh, PopURLs.com is a really cool aggregator, a URL aggregator, and it pulls all the really of like the best URLs that are going on around the web. So um, basically, if they if they are the best, that means that people are clicking on them, and they are clicking on them for a reason. And now the reason that you want to do this, obviously, is so that you have a high open rate. Now, open rate is the amount of people that actually open and read your emails, right? Because there's so many emails coming in that you really want to get someone to open and look at whatever it is that you have to say. Okay, so go to popurls.com. That is a really awesome resource. Okay, so now you're gonna get taken to this page right here and it's gonna give you all these different templates, right? Now, again, I don't know what the purpose of your email is going to be, but if you have some kind of clothing company and you're gonna send some newsletter, then you can just choose one of these templates and mess around from there. I, however, start from scratch. This is what I do. I like to use this one right over here, right? I just click start from scratch and when I click start from scratch it uh, it takes me to this next page right here and then I'm just gonna select this right here where it says blank template okay so now that we've gotten to our blank template you'll notice that right here on the right hand side it says basic blocks right and you have like a, a pre-header a text block an image block an image and a text block and a text and image block and a little horizontal ruler these are all just little pre-made little things to go right here right so you what you're gonna do is just grab one of these and drag it right on over here and then it's gonna pop up right so we'll do a quick example of that okay so I just like to use a text box so I'll drag it drop it right and it'll put up this like crazy language and then all you have to do is just type in I'll just be like hey you know welcome to the email newsletter Right, and then I can just um, return, and um, this is a sample message. Right, hit return again, and then like say this one right here. If I wanted to change that, we'll put this is a hyperlink. Right, and then all you do is you just go like that, and you click the little hyperlink button. Right, uh, insert link, and then you know www. You know Google. Com, and then hey this is Google right so you get the gist of how the text block works the next one is an image block right and well, actually you have to click off first and this is an image block and you just drag that right there right below it okay and then choose an image just click on that and you'll be able to choose from all these stock images right um, or you can go and click my images now this is me right here I have it and it's called uh, you just have this image. I'm not going to click. It's going to take too long. But I already have my image right there, so I'm just going to trash this. And I'm going to go to where it says uh, my snippets, right? And I already have some snippets that are saved. And uh, let's see, image. So I can just drag my image right there. Now I have my image, right? There we go. 
So you get the gist of how to send it. So say I wanted to send this to my list, right? Well, the next thing I would do is actually go to next step. I've already prepared the message, I've named it, and now I have to choose a list that I want to send it to. And I would choose via Maverick, and then I would just go down and click next step, right? So notice it hasn't sent yet. And then uh, you could do an inbox preview to actually see how it looks. It's gonna open it in a new tab, and what this does is it shows you how your email is going to look on all these different browsers and all these different email um, you know, little surfaces or screens or whatever. And um, yeah, so you don't have to do this. Um, I already know how it's gonna look because I already have, I mean, it's, it's already pretty set in stone. Um, you could do a sample one and just send an email to yourself, but once you're ready to go, you can either schedule it or send it now. Now, I would highly recommend scheduling your post to go out, right? Because Get Response has this really cool thing and it's called time travel. And time travel, it says, it delivers your campaign at the recipient's local time. It also says caution in some time zones, the sending time you chose has already passed. Recipients of those time zones will receive your message immediately. If you prefer, you can choose a later sending time. So I already have mine set right here. Uh, you click that and you can just, you know, you set the time when you want it to go out. And that's how you do that, guys. And then once you're ready to send, you click send. So that is how you send an email blast with GetResponse. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Head to vmavic.com, get on the email newsletter where I give you more internet marketing strategies and cool little email tips just like this. All right, thanks for watching, guys.